What's up everyone, I'm Carlos, this is Olya, and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today we have a new release from Dua Fragrances called Scrumptious. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover Recently you were here and you went through my Dua collection there and you were quite impressed with was, quite a few of them. Yeah, definitely. I was just sent this for review, but all opinions are my own and our own. Yes. I figured, why not do it with you since you were so yeah, giddy I, about the brand and what you smelled. I'm into them. This is an inspired expression of Roja Dove's Sweetie Aoud, which mm -hmm. you're familiar with, right? Yeah, very well. You worked with it at Oswald, right? Yeah. And I, you know, got to wear it as well, so I really enjoyed how it was, like, dried down on me the whole journey. You're a Roja fan. Yes. <laughs> I'm really eyeing the, the Beguiled. Yes, you were telling me. Yes. Here's the bottle. It's an X-ray de parfum. It's $65 for a 30 ml bottle. It's classified as an oriental floral. It has a long, long list of notes. Have a seat. The notes are bergamot, artemisia, rose de may, cistus, cumin, gersham balsam, cardamom, nagarmotha, cedar wood, gayak wood, patchouli, amaris, juniper, organic oud, patisserie accord, labdanum, and olibanum. This is so good. Ugh. This is so good. <laughs> What's so good about it? Well, I think that the blend of that gourmand kind of quality, but not too sugary, not too sweet. It just has this like really smooth kind of creamy accord to it. And then you have pretty much the whole combo of all the woods that I like. I mean, the garmatha, gaik wood, cedar wood, those are pretty much, you know, some of my, some of my favorite. And I think the cumin note, it's so interesting in, in this fragrance. On my skin, it's I not it. too pronounced because cumin can go very bo smelling, yeah. On me, I sprayed it um, before that, and I don't think um, I don't think the hmm. cumin jumps on me, but I think it's so sensual and really, really calm on my skin. Oh, it's just so good. I How would it. you rate it in terms of comparison to the original Sweetie Oud? Um, I think it's not so oud pronounced. You know, I think the oud here is kind of like a backup dancer, which I think is is really cool. And this is definitely to me sweeter. <laughs> backup dancer. I just had a vision of <laughs> people in the back waiting to come out and like. <laughs> or like the oud is like dee dee dee. <laughs> Sorry. Definitely smooth. You know, a lot. Um, no sharpness. No kind of sharp angles here. And I think it's woodsier to my nose. I get a nice gourmand juxtaposed against beautiful woods. Mm -hmm. The it's oud is not too in your face. If I remember correctly, I think in the Sweetie Oud, the oud is very pronounced. Yeah. And almost going a little funky-ish. Yeah, like really sweet and funky. Yeah, I think I think you called it. And I mean, again, I, um, I think it would play out differently on different skin. On me, it was definitely like the oud would jump. <laughs> and here it's just such a smooth journey the entire way. I really like it. And it's just so it's just you kind of want to like hug it. I mean, I just want to keep putting it on and putting it on and putting it on. <laughs> At least she's not drinking it today. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps she might eat it. The lucky day I'm not drinking <laughs> a bottle. So this has really great projection. It jumps off skin. There's no problem yeah. with that. And longevity is nice at around six hours, but not as pronounced as the first two, of course. But nice blend, I think. I think it's also a really nice size. Like I would totally, um, like 30 mil I think is perfect to throw in your bag. So I would um, actually carry it and kind of just almost like a little mid-afternoon snack. Just mid there you go, snack. there you go. <laughs> the original, if I'm not mistaken, was 500 for 50 mil bottle. Mm -hmm. So the ingredients that good. are used to create this composition are a little pricey. It's so good though. So good. I like it. Well, my hunch was right. I knew that she would get a kick out of doing this. She definitely enjoyed what she smelled from previous Dua. And this, I knew she would like, having had experience with the original Sweetie Aoud. So let's give it a rating in terms of percentage as to how close it is to 
Sweetie, I would, I would probably say around 85%. Yeah, I would put it about 80, 85, I would say, yeah. A little more? Yeah. 80, 85 or 85, 88, you said? No, 80, 85. 80, 85, which is good. Yeah, I think it's very good. If you've had experience with Sweetie Aoud, let us know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for tuning in for all you guys first do a fragrance here at BFL. And not drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all we have for you today on Dua Fragrances Scrumptious. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you have been a subscriber, please do click on that bell icon so you don't miss notifications on new reviews, new content, giveaways, all your bar on BFL, and all the other fun guests that are always popping up here at BFL. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys are well, and we'll see you at the next review.